Hello everybody, I'm Todd, All Things Archery and Shooting, and I've got another review for you today. This one's going to be on fast flight strings from different manufacturers, you can see. We're going to review these strings on four criteria. It's going to be quality and workmanship. We're going to, it's going to be the cost of each string, it's going to be the speed of each string, and we're going to do the quietness of each string, okay? All these strings are handmade strings. They're all Flemish twists except for one. We'll get to that in a minute. And they come different manufacturers, and they're all going to be used on my... Old Mountain Stygian Recurve Bow, 56 inch AMO. This bow is a 50 pound bow at 20 inches, but at my draw length, it's pulling 54 pounds. Okay, we're going to test all the strings on this bow. What I did is I called a couple of their manufacturers up and asked them to send me their strings with their version of their silencer on it for this review I want to do. And this is what I got I got five strings here to show you, including the um, factory string that came with the bow. Let's go ahead and talk about them real quick, okay? Um, first of all, all the way across, the way this test is going to be done is I'm going to shoot all these strings out of the same bow. We're going to shoot 10 arrows each for each one of these strings. I'm going to throw out the high and throw out the low, and then average the eight arrows for the average speed of each one. We'll, we'll also test the quietness of the string as well, too, and how it performs, all right? Once we get it on there. These are all fast flight strings, different types of fast but they're all fast flight. And I think it'll be an interesting review on this, okay? First string we're gonna talk about is gonna be Grizzly Jim's string. Grizzly Jim, he's a he's a guy from across the pond there in England. I'm sure y'all have heard of him. If not, check him out on you on YouTube. You can find him at Merlin Archery or you can find him on his own YouTube channel. He made this string for me. Alright, it's a fast flight string. Okay, it's which it's Pretty nice string. I mean, it's, it's we'll talk about the quality in a minute, but I mean, the cost of the string is thirty-five sixty-five. That is converted from European dollars to American dollars, and the puffs are five dollars ninety-four cents. Again, converted from European to American, and he will install them for you. I'll send you a nice little letter here, which is kind of nice from Gives the Gym. All right. Basically, it says, "Hello, my friend. These are some crazy times we're living in right now. I just wanted to include this little note to personally thank you for your support and patience." During these uncertain times, I'm sorry if your package was delayed, but I guess the apocalypse is a pretty decent excuse for a string being late. <laughs> I have to agree with you, it probably is. I'm working hard to get through as many as I can while I still can. I wouldn't be able to do what I do without the support of folks like you, so thank you. Please stay safe, take care, and shoot straight. See you internet. Grizzly Jim, and he signs it. It took me about three weeks to get this string sent to me from, from across the pond, so it's a nice little string. Next up, uh, next up is going to be the um, Shatterproof Archery String. This is made by Kramer Amos. He has another. He has a great YouTube channel. He's a bower and a custom string maker. You can find him on YouTube. Just search Kramer Amos. He's got a lot of good bow reviews on there as well too. He sent me this string with his Beaver Puff silencers. This string is a D97. It's $31.99, and the Beaver Puff silencers are $9.99. Okay. He's got, different, he's, got, he's got a great little thing on his web page that you can go there and search and you can click on it and you can put in your bow, your bow weight, which kind of shooting you can do, hunting tar, whatever case be, and it'll actually tell you what kind of string you need to buy. So it's a pretty neat little little way to order it. So Another string here is the Three River String. This one is a, um, they call it X99 String. It's $31.99 is the price, $4.99 is the, with the cat whiskers. Okay. Um, Okay, the um, the Three River String. It's I get this there. I guess it's their name brand. I learned from them. Uh, we'll go um, this Three River String. It's an X99 string. It is uh, 31.99. Their cat whiskers were 4.99. Okay, so that's this one. Next is the um, is a Fast Flight D97 string. This came from Amazon from one of the Chinese companies. Uh, this string is only $17.99, so it's a really good value for the money. Uh, the cat whiskers order separate are $4.97, but you get four cat whiskers instead of two. Only thing is I ordered a Flemish twist, and they sent me a standard in this loop, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then the last string we're going to talk about is going to be the, um, the factory string that came with it, which is also uh, a Flemish twist, and I, and I bought the silencers from, um, from Three Rivers. They were $4.99 as well. Okay, let's talk about the quality of the string. Let's look at let's look at Grizzly Jim's first. Grizzly Jim string, it's very well made. It's a 16 strand string. Okay. But it uses a 024 serving on it. 
And the serving on this string is eight inches. Okay, so it has an eight inch serving on it, which is a good size for a serving. All right, it's zero two four, which is the size of the serving. Is these are puff balls, are real puff balls, and he makes his own puff balls, and he installed them for me. Okay, it has. If you look at the loops here, it has a small loop and a bigger loop. Okay. So uh, the string is off uh, is a it's for a 56 able bow, so the string is exactly 52 inches like it's supposed to be. Let's look at shatterproof down. Shatterproof string is an 18 strand string. Uses D97. Um, they have these are their beaver puff silencers, which are nice. Okay, and these are real beaver puff. You can feel how coarse the hair is. It ain't like that fake stuff you get from you get online, like from Amazon. These are real. You can feel the. If everyone's ever trapped beaver before, hunted beaver, you can tell it's real beaver fur. But it's kind of it's not really super soft, but it's not really super hard. It's kind of hard to explain. That's real beaver fur. You can tell the difference. And then if you look at the serving on this thing. He puts a 10 inch serving on his string, which is awesome. I love a 10 inch serving, okay? Now this string here is a D97. He's got, and what's also cool, he does one extra thing goes on. Actually, he puts this here, it says top loop. See, so you know, you, no way you can get a mistake which loop is loop. But also he's got a big loop and a small loop. So that's your small loop, and there's your big loop. So he does it still that, but it's kind of cool he labels it as top loop though, which is nice, okay? Awesome string there, good looking string. Now let's talk about three rivers, I gotta tell you. Three rivers. I've got a little. I've got a. I've got a little. Well, let's just say I'm not happy with their quality. The last couple of years, since I guess since their son took over, the quality of, the, of Three Rivers has really gone down. I mean, their customer service is not what it used to be. And the reason I say that is because I shopped Three Rivers for years and years and years, and my dad shopped them way before me did. Okay, and they were always when his when his father was running, he would pick up the phone, he'd answer your questions. My dad talked to him several times. We bought a lot of gear from over the years. But you can't get that same quality service from this, from his son, and uh, their people are not as well trained either. And the reason I say that is because when I called to order the string, I said I wanted a 56 AMO fast flight string. They said, okay, we'll send you one, okay? I said, great. I didn't think nothing about it. So I waited, and it came pretty quick, came in about a week, opened it up, and guess what? It was a 56 inch string, but not a 56 AMO string. It was a full length 56 inch string, which will not work on a 56, a, 56, 56 inch AMO bow. I said, are you kidding me? So I called her back and said, I ordered, yeah, we sent you this. I said, no, you sent me a 50, that's what you are. I said, no, I ordered a 56 inch AMO string. That should be a 52 inch full length string, not 56 inch. Oh, we're sorry, we'll see a new string. Okay, so to their credit, sent me a new string out, okay? This is this one here. This is the first string they sent me, which is the 56, which is completely wrong. And they, well, to their credit, they sent me a new string and told me to worry about sending that one back, but I have no use for that string at all. But anyway, let's talk about this here now. This string here, also this, the quality of the string is nowhere, it's not that great. I mean, you've got a lot of tail ends on this string, a lot of tag ends, and the serving area in this string is seven inches, so it's not that large. It's 024 serving like the rest of them, but it's already starting to, to come apart there, okay? which is kind of strange and then you've got another this other end here full of bad tag ends and stuff it's just the string quality is not that good so i called them back after i got this string and i asked them okay who, who makes this what kind of string material is this and they told me it's x99 i said yeah i understand that but it says on your web page but what is x99 well the guy couldn't tell me so it's just our name our brand of fast flight i said is it d97 is it fast flight what is it oh it's just x99 and then i asked them, i said okay x99 great so, anyway, the quality, and also this string wasn't really pre-waxed when I got it. It was very little wax on it. I had to really wax the heck out of the string when I got it. So it wasn't really pre-waxed. So basically their strings, I mean, their quality has gone down the tubes. And, I mean, you don't send something like that out like, like to your cuff. It's just terrible. That would have never happened when his dad was running, running, the, running the thing. So, anyway, I still buy from Three Rivers. They got, they got pretty much anything you possibly need. Their prices are a little bit higher than most, but they do have what you need. But their customer service has pretty much gone down the tubes lately. So if, if you're listening Three Rivers, you might want to take note of that. I'm not the only one's complaining. I've seen a lot of people on the internet complain about the same problem. And you go check your reviews online, your reviews are going constantly going down. You've seen a lot of two and three star reviews and quite a few one star reviews. So I mean, you might want to re revamp your whole customer service and also train your people better because when someone asks for a 56 AMO string, they expect to get a 56 AMO string, not a 56 inch long string. 
Okay, I'm, I'm tired of beating that dead horse. I'm getting off of it now. Okay, next string here is the Amazon string, or this from Amazon. This comes from one of those, I guess, Chinese manufacturers. I don't know who it was. Um, ordered a Flemish twist. As you can see, obviously, it's not a Flemish twist. It's an endless loop. So I called them back, and it is a D97, but they did send me the wrong string. Um, they offered this, but I had to wait for the string for quite some time. It did come from China, so I waited for like a month for the string to get here. And then when I called Amazon back and I told them it was the wrong string, I wanted a Flemish twist, they sent me an endless loop. Uh, they said, oh, well, we'll just, we'll just refund your money to you. And on, or we can send you. I said, no, don't bother sending me a new one. Just refund me the money and I'll use this one. And I probably should have my money refunded because honestly, after shooting, I mean, all these, you can see here, the serving starting to crack on it and come apart. Um, the puff silencers, I, I got those from um, Amazon as well. They were four ninety seven, but you get two, you get four not just two so that's a pretty good buy and as you can see this in this loop but as you can see all of the servings cracking on it all right so all right so that's this one okay next one is the factory string the factory string is a 16 strand string by the way that's an 18 strand string the factory string is an 16 strand string 16 strand string boy try to say that fast three times real fast <laughs> But it has the smallest serving area. It's only got a five-inch serving area. I've never seen a string with only a five-inch serving area. That's crazy. It is a Flemish twist and it's fast flight. I don't know what kind of fast flight because it doesn't stay. It just says fast flight. It kind of feels like D97 to me. But this came on the bow when I bought my old Stygian recurve bow. And again, I call. I bought that bow from Three Rivers. And I called them and asked them about it. And they couldn't tell me what kind of string it was either. I said, how do you sell and stuff? You'll know what, what, what it is. Oh, it's just a fast flight. Well, what kind of fast? Oh, we don't know. It's just a fast. Flight. These are Chinese bills. We don't know. So again, your customer service guys and your tech guys really need to step up their game a little bit. Three Rivers, but it's got some tag ends on it, like like the Three Rivers does, and it does have a small loop and the big loop on it, which you can tell the top and the bottom, which is right here. So it's got a really big loop on it. So you got to be careful with this big loop. So what I do, I have to twist that a couple of times so it do not come off my knocks. Bottom is really fine though, but that's the factory one that came with it. Okay, now all these strings I've already pre shot in. I've shot 100 arrows through each of these strings, okay, just so I can get rid of any kind of stretch or any kind of things like that. So when we do our range time, they'll all be it'll be very comparable. What I haven't shot yet is the shatterproof, and the reason I didn't shoot it is because I wanted to show you how they put that top sticker on there, which is kind of nice, it's kind of unique. Don't only know to do that, but I'll shoot this one 100 times too, okay. We're going to head out to the range and we're going to shoot this thing over the chronograph. We're going to see how quiet it is and see how much different the speed it is. We'll be using the old mountain stitch and recurve. We're using the exact same arrows for all the shooting. So all the strings have the same. What I'm basically going to do, I'm going to string up one, shoot 10 arrows, get a speed count, see how quiet it is, string up the second one, and then the third one, and fourth, so forth and so on until we get to the end. I think it'll be an interesting review. Um, fast light is, someone says fast light is the same. Well, in my experience, I've tried a lot of fast lights, and it's funny. I can buy fast light for one company from another, and for some reason, one's faster or slower or quieter or louder. I don't understand that. So we're going to try to do a comparison here and figure it all out. All right? All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Look for part two, which will be the range test on this. All right? You will we'll have that shortly. I'm going to... Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so, and please click that bell button so I can remind you, so you know when my new videos pop up and they release. And also click that like button and share with your friends too, okay? I want to thank you guys for your support and thank you for watching. My channel is growing and I really appreciate all y'all's support. And drop me a comment. I love reading your comments. I answer as many as I can, okay? And I've actually become pretty good friends with a few of these guys on YouTube. I haven't even met them yet. We've become pretty good YouTube friends. So just drop me a comment down there and I'll do my best to answer it for you, all right? All right, well, this has been Todd All Things in Archery and Shooting. And until next time, guys, ciao.